Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations. Wyclef, how are you guys all doing? Great, I hope. So I have another package from somebody. I think a scrapbook. But I'm also going to do a card video because Spellbinders is having another sale. And the email is on my, or the text is on my phone, so I can't read it to you guys. It's a foiling, I think. <laughs> um, but, so I, my desk area is right underneath my, these are energy saving light bulbs that I'm under. And they're the white lights. And they're not supposed to be as bright. cost as much. They're only like a dollar something a year to run. Ooh, look what's in here. I got the new color from Tim Holtzy. Ooh, 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 ooh. You guys want to see this? And I got a free die. Scrapbook sent me a free die. How nice of him. Ooh. I wonder what that is. It's all wrapped by itself. And then I got something else. Which you guys could probably see a glare of it. So this is a free I Love You die. The shadow die. And the I Love You in the middle. That's pretty cool. I like that. I could probably make a shaker card with this too, maybe. We'll have to see. So, this is the Lost Shadow from Tim Holtz. And I thought, why not? Right? I think this is the re-inker, one of them, which we'll have to go. Yep, this is the re-inker for Distress Ink, re-inker. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look at that. I can't wait to play with this stuff. See, now that I have a new desk, I'm excited to try new colors because I have two new ink pads and all these empty bottles where I can make my new colors. I cannot wait to try. And that's why I bought I bought this new color because I want to make my new want to make new colors of alcohol inks and distress sprays and stuff like that. Here is the Distress Oxide Spray. Oh, that's going to be fun to play with. So this is supposed to be a silver spray. Silver gray. Not silver spray. I can't talk, guys. I just can't talk. I have been coughing a lot today because I have been, I finally got everything. I think between my husband and I, he helped me. But we finally got it all moved in today. <laughs> the rest of it. So here is the spray stain. So these you don't have to shake because there's no balls, BBs, or whatever you call them in there. These you do. The Distress Oxide Spray you do have to shake. These you do not. Alright. Get everything out of here because I can't handle the sound of plastic yeah okay so this is the distress paint lost shadow these you do have to shake i do believe i'm not sure if there's a ball in there you do and then this is the re-inker for the distress oxide and we have a Distress Ink for Lost Shadow and a Distress Oxide for Lost Shadow. Well, that is pretty cool. So I have a little piece of paper here. Are you guys ready to test this out? Let's see the difference between the two. This is the first time I've ever gotten the whole kit and caboodle.
Yeah. For those of you who want to know, I could not stand the sound of loud plastic like that. It drives me up the wall. Anything like potato chip bags or anything like that, no way, no how. I don't do, uh-uh. I don't, I just, I'm sorry. I cannot handle the sounds of those loud plastic bags. They just drives me crazy. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so we're going to try this on my piece of cardstock. I'm just going to wipe it across. And I'm going to pair it up with Simon Hurley's grays. So there's the Distress Oxide lost shadow and here is the ink oh look there's a difference see how dark that looks compared to the light for the oxide there's a big difference I mean look at that oxide ink it's pretty cool so let's pair these up Ooh, I better wipe my table off. I don't want to stain my table. <gasps> it went off. There, got that quickly, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Wow. So I definitely like the oxide because it's got more of a silver tint to it. So I would definitely use the oxide more, I think, for Christmas stuff. And if I look, oh, it's got glitter in it. Look at that. There's a glitter tint to them. And if you look, if you look at the Lost Shadow ink, the Distress ink too, there's some glitter in there. I like that. I don't know if Tim Holtz realized that, but if you look under the light and you go like this, you can see glitter in them both. No wonder. Oh, that is so cool. Now I can't wait to play with the spray stain and the oxide spray and test those out. And the his uh, version of... Um, what do you call these? Distress emboss. His version of embossing powders, and I love the way his feel too. That looks pretty. I, I definitely see glitter, and that is so beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to try a little bit of... Let me set my water aside here, my cherry coke aside. And then we got a couple postcards that they sent us. Oh, special guest, the SBC Fest is coming. Not sure when that's gonna be, oh, March 19th. No, March 10th and 11th, sorry, I can't read. And it's the Scrapbook Festival 2023. And there's going to be some special guests. Diane Reveille, I've got stuff of hers. Becky Adams, Robin Marshall Clark. I've seen her stuff. I've seen her speak. Or I've seen her on YouTube. She's wonderful. Becky Adams is wonderful. Diane Reveille she is amazing too i've got some of her things i've got some of her sprays laura graf we all know laura graf she's one of the scrapbook.com speakers on youtube shannon aller is really good joy baldwin i don't know if i've seen her speak or not but i'm pretty sure she's on youtube and does videos as well Paige Evans, Frank Garcia, Jess Crafts is really good. Anna or Anna Comenda and Laura Evangeline. I think I've seen a few of everybody. 
And then, yeah, huh. March 10th and 11th. And I don't know if this is in person. Oh, it says RSVP and get your supplies now at scrapbook.com slash forward slash SBC Fest if you want to attend. So I'm assuming it's online. So I am not an affiliate for them. I'm just forwarding the information to you guys. And it looks like Scrapbook is pairing up with Sissix because they say Sissix Chapter 1. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, so they're starting off with a new, fresh, new designs for a wide range of occasions and blah, blah, blah. So there you have it. So let's get this bubble wrap off of here or whatever that stuff is. I'm gonna set this stuff aside and that's gonna go in that container up there and my blender or my ink ink refills whatever gonna go back there on the peg board so I'm gonna grab my grays which are right here because I only have two shady and woof okay and I'm gonna use a blending brush because I don't want to get ink all over my table so let's compare, okay, so I'm just going to see, so here's Shady, okay, just a little dribble, just to see, and here is Woof, and then we'll get started on our card. I need more whoop just to see if this is almost the same colors. I can't tell. I think Simon's is a little bit different. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So these are Simon's two colors. I think Simon's has more of a, what do I think? I still see glitter in both of Tim Holtz's, but I like them all. I like them, I both, I love Simon's and I love Tim Holtz's grays. But now I'm gonna have to pair it up with Gina K's gray, but I'll do that later and let you guys know. But I don't know. But that looks pretty good. But they're both different in their own unique way. So really, if you want a dark gray, go with Simon Hurley. If you want a, I don't know, a, a luxurious gray, go with Tim Holtz. <laughs> if you want... I don't know if you want an off gray. Of course, his Distress Oxide looks like it's got a, I don't know, maybe a little bit of brown, silverish, brownish maybe tint to it as well. But I like that ink too. So it's a little bit different than Simon's Woof. But I bet you can pair them all up together and come up with a cool background. That would be cool for doing a layering stencil if you wanted to. Just suggesting if you really loved gray a lot. Okay, so now we're going to do a card. And I'm going to bring in my other toy that I got. So I got this. It's a little bit smaller than I thought. It is a glass board. Okay, it's it's a glass board glass from glassstudio.com. 
and I ordered it through Debbie J. She's got a link. I think she's an affiliate for them. And it came last night. <laughs> it was supposed to come the other day, but it never did. So this was supposed to be in the tour, the craft room tour update yesterday, but I didn't get to have that in the tour. So, um, yeah. So I th I'm pretty sure I had ordered a nine by 12. This is not a nine by 12 size thing. So my other thing down here is a 13 by 13 size. So I don't know. I may have to reach out to her and say, help. <laughs> this is not the nine by 13 that I thought I had ordered. So yeah, I did not order a nine by six at all. Uh, I believe this is the wrong size. So yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have to reach out to them and say, hello. <laughs> this is definitely the wrong size. I did not order this really small one. I know I didn't. I ordered the magnets, I know. But I know I ordered a 9 by... That was a 9 by 13 or something like that. Because it was more, I thought it was more square that I had ordered, but I don't know. I don't remember, but anyways, it is what it is, I guess. So we're going to test it out, and I will show you guys how these work. So these are magnets. These things are so strong. If these things get stuck together, <laughs> they're really hard to pull apart. And let's just say they pinched the hoofies out of my fingers. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. That we probably only need two magnets right now. So I was going to stencil, but I don't know what happened to my stencil. That's okay. We're not going to stencil, I guess. I'm going to stamp. And hopefully that light is not too powering. Okay, I'm not going to use that. Because this is going to go back in. I'm going to stamp this. And I don't know, I'm going to stamp this to this. Or I'm going to stamp it this way. I'm going to tape it. And just pull it off. Like so. Put it back in my affiliate boxes. So. I'm going to see. Do I want the whole thing? Or do I want to go piece by piece? Or should I do this in my Misty? I think we're going to do this in the Misty instead. Because I was going to stencil. So we're not going to stencil now. So we're just going to put it in our Misty. Okay? So we're going to get the Misty out. I should be able to see this. So I'm going to stand up and look to make sure we got to take this stuff out. Is this a thick stamp? So by the time I get done with this, we will have a five by, four, I mean, we'll just do a, I'm not sure, a four and a half by five. This is gonna be too big. I'm gonna to slim this down a little bit. That's okay. Make sure you guys can see and you can see okay good that's what I wanted to make sure so I can either do the whole thing and go up or I can do a strip at a time I'm not sure what I want to do here so I'm gonna have to hold this down that up This whole thing come apart in three sections. I like the middle one. That looked really cool. 
And we're gonna do confetti because Spellbinders is having a really cool sale. So, so here is, I did some foiling, okay, ahead of time. So I have this, it's like a rainbow confetti. Okay, and then I did, well, if I can do it in order, that is. So I have sending, birthday, confetti. So that is what I have already done. So I did my foiling first because I wanted to get that done before, um, before, uh, we came on before I came on. So I am gonna pick some new colors. I'm gonna try and pick some colors that might be in here. So I'm gonna go with Later Gator because that's one of my new ones that I just got. Okay. I don't think I have to wipe these off because they're not photopolymer. We're just going to ink these up with later gator. And my stamping chucky tool. Sorry, my whole thing is shaking here probably attach this thing to the wall. <laughs> oh, definitely got to do that again, huh? I love this shade of green. I don't want too much pressure because if I put too much weight on my desk, I'm afraid it's going to go poof. <laughs> and that would be bad. Because my husband had to put a couple screws in the table legs. Because when we tightened the table legs, when we turned them like we were supposed to, and they didn't stay tightened, they went they cleft back down and the table was going to fall. And so he had to get, he had to, he came up with an idea to drill a couple of screws, a screw in each leg, table leg, which there's only two legs, of course. Okay, that is not working for me. What is it today? The weather is fine. It's not snowing. It's not cold. It's it's in the 30s or almost 40s today. We're finally getting some warm weather. So I know it's not freezing. See, 
That is not stamping like it's supposed to. to sit on it. I don't want to break my misty either. But I don't want my ink to come out, my stuff coming out and looking like it's going through a windstorm either. Goodness. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see if I can get that last one to work. Okay, that's just as good as it's gonna get. All right, let me see if I can eat some more over here. Try it that way. Still not. Oh, maybe it's because it's puffy. I don't know. I just don't know, you guys. It's just not working for me today. Come on, a brand new, updated, remodeled craft room and I can't <laughs> stand today. All right. It's not missing anything. That would be bad. Okay, let me trim the top of my paper off. Maybe that's its problem. I'm gonna need to trim this down a little bit. So let me do that. Maybe it's just too big, too long or something. I don't know. I'm gonna trim it down. Well, it is. There. That makes sense. It was a half an inch too short, or too big, too long. Okay, let's try that. <sighs> That's okay. Pick a different color, and then we're gonna go up down a little bit so we're not overlapping on the candles. Okay, later, Ginger. All right, what's my other new one that I just got? Sidewalk chalk. Let's try that. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, that's a little bit of mud. There you go. That's better. Your thing is, is to try and get a good ink pressure on these rubber stamps. Sometimes it's hard to see. Sometimes you just have to sit on them, stand, without breaking your Stamparatus machine tool. I'll try not to shake here. It's this one that isn't stamping very good. This is the one that's causing me havoc. Okay, does anybody else have had issues with these ones too? <laughs> why, why me? Is it just me or have any of you had issues? Why is it not stamping for me? I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? don't understand why it doesn't want to stand. I know it didn't get damaged in the mail. I don't think. But I hope that's not the issue. again here without going over the flames all right so with green we have a sidewalk chalk which is a light purple and now we're gonna go with <laughs> roar okay I'm gonna do roar I'm gonna be different Roar might work better, maybe. Maybe it's the ink. Oh no, it can't be the ink. It's the stamp. Try to make sure it's not damaged. Just hoping it's not. <laughs> 
see. Look, it's just not working. <laughs> The ink is not going from the stamp to the paper. It must be me. I don't know what I'm doing right. Am I doing something wrong? I mean, this is ridiculous. I feel like a numb snuckle. <sighs> That's really hard. tell you how to in style it is not working for me this is how you do this this is how you do that this is a brand new stamp for me and I can't even tell you how to use it because it's not working for me <sighs> okay as about as good as it's gonna get okay for me anyways I I am at this point where you know, sometimes as a crafter, don't you feel like we just want to go, well, I mean, we all have our days. We all have our issues. And even with a brand new stamp, it's like, come on now, work with me. It's like, why are we being so difficult? just that candle and I am like I give up I mean it is it looks like it's got a little damage down here at the bottom but I don't know if that just what's happened through the machine but it looks like it got cut a little bit but that could just be the way I'm looking at it Okay, so we're going to take those same inks that we just used, and I think I might just do a 5 by 7 card, actually. Let's put the Misty away. Okay, I am... I'm going to get out a, let's put this away because I don't want that light to be too bright for some of you guys. Stay there. Don't move. I'm going to get a bigger piece of paper and put that underneath it. Okay, and then I'm going to ink this. So let's do Roar, since we got Roar. So I now have all of my ink blending brushes in here for Simon Hurley's inks, except for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to have to go to either Five Below or $1.25 store and get another one of these <laughs> so that I can put some more in there because that is all 32 of his inks over there. So I need Roar and Roar is first of the oranges, which I believe is is no that's traffic cone this is roar because that's darker in the orange family okay and then i need later gator and then i need what did i say sidewalk chalk which is a purple this one 
Okay. All right. So I have that. Okay. Now, I got these through Ranger, but Rain or Simon Hurley stuff is also sold through Spellbinders. Okay. So I can combine Simon Hurley stuff with Spellbinders stuff as well. So that's why I did some of this foiling stuff. And we're going to add that with Simon Hurley's birthday stuff here. So that's what we're going to do. So what am I doing? Oh yeah, I forgot what I was going to do. So don't mind a long video. <laughs> it's been a while since I did one. So I'm going to add a little bit of roar. So I'm just going over the flames and the candles. I don't want it too dark. Okay, that looks good. I don't want to go too low because I want to add my purple. And I'll just go to the top there. Okay. our cover over it so we don't get ink all over the table okay now we're gonna go in with um let's put this one away we're gonna go in with sidewalk chalk oh look i haven't used this brush yet <gasps> yay now we get to use it just blending and it's okay to blend a little bit of that purple with the orange now this purple is light anyway so I don't think I'm gonna dab it on the paper down just a little bit more so I'm in between the green candles so I can blend in a little bit okay now we're gonna get fake plant out all right I mean later gator not fake plant what do they say <laughs> I'm going to start at the bottom. Now this is a lighter green too, so you probably don't need to dab it. And who says we can't have green flames?
that looks good. Except for I'm not happy about this whole row and some of those. They just didn't do very well. Like I say. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're going to cut this down to a five by seven. And then we can start working on getting this card ready and I can make a cake too for it. <sighs> da -da, da -da, da -da. So there's seven. I might lose the tip of the flames, but we won't lose too much, but that's okay. And then I will just lose that row of candles and I'm good because that messed up on me anyways which is fine. I'm okay with that because bye-bye this candle because that candle went uh, on me and I ain't keeping it, I'm gonna throw it away. That's when I say it's okay to throw something like that away because it went boo-boo boobsier, right? Right, all right, so there's our five by seven, okay? So now we're gonna make a cake. And this is where I'm going to cheat. <laughs> this is where we're going to cheat the system. And I'm just going to fold my piece of cardstock here in half. I'm using heavyweight 110 pound that I got at Michael's a while ago. And then I'm just going to cut this, okay. All right, I'm going to have to take an allergy pill. All that dust flying around in here. After putting everything away. I was doing a bunch of dusting just to put more stuff away. Okay. So, I do have these that I was doing last night, and I have them stuck to double-sided sticker paper. I could really cheat and add them maybe to some succulents and some butterflies. I wonder how good that would look for a birthday candles. I don't know. How, how good do you guys think that would look? A butterfly with succulents, confetti, foiled birthday stuff. Hmm, I don't know. I don't have the dies for these though. I just got the stamps. Don't knew. But no, I think I'm just gonna ink this. And then we're gonna pick some colors. We're gonna make a cake. Okay. So, I have the stamps for this. I do. <laughs> it's back there. But I'm just gonna do a die cake here. So let's, so we have orange, purple, and green. So I should have left my colors out, you know? So later gator, sidewalk chalk, and roar. Okay, we're gonna go with those colors. And what else is in our foil? We have a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna go with, what else do I have here? Shooting star. Let's go with shooting star too. Cause let me tell you, that's a bright yellow. So we're gonna go with that. So, let's see, let's get our brushes again. I'm glad I didn't put those two away. Let's get later Gator out. So, we're going to start with later Gator. Add a little bit more. 
Okay, now we're gonna add shooting star because I think green and yellow go good together, right? Right. Even though yellow is not my favorite color, yellow is my least of my favorite colors. Now, I heard someone say that they don't keep their stamps in a stamping thing like this, and they don't keep them up like this. Because they said the ink runs all the way down and out of their Simon Hurley Creates stamping pads. Have any of you come across that problem? Let me know. Um, mine have not done that. And I've had some of mine for a couple of years now, and I still have not had that happen to me. Um, I know Simon Hurley create or Simon Hurley stores his this way, and he hasn't had that problem. So I'm just curious, do some of you have that problem? <laughs> I know I came across that problem in his Facebook group and some of the people have said that and so I'm just curious and I told them mine don't do that so maybe it's just wherever they live and maybe it's humidity or something I don't know um I don't know so oops so these caps work great because they keep the ink separated from the other stuff. Okay, now we're gonna go with Roar. Yeah, Roar, I almost grabbed the wrong brush. That would have been bad. Probably don't need to go down, but maybe you know when I was doing the craft room um, craft room tour update video thing yesterday evening. I forgot to show you guys where I keep my alcohol inks. <laughs> and I forgot to show you where my um, lunar paste and stencil butters are. Completely forgot to show you. Completely spaced. So now we're on to um, sidewalk chalk. Okay, so this is the last color I'm adding. I'm not going to repeat. Okay. All right. Take a sip of Coke here for a second. All right, now we can cut out our cake. I 
I think we'll do the cake roar and purple. And then we'll do the balloon green and yellow. How about that? And then we'll do the string orange or orange and yellow. That sound cool? I'm not going to spray this. I know I normally do, but right now I'm trying to save time and not spray. Now I've got my, oops, because everything falls off. Okay, I can fix it though. Okay, you go back up, purple and orange. Green and yellow, yellow and orange. Okay. And then you'll see what I'm doing. Let's put this card together, shall we? So I just made, I just used the dies to do this stuff. I did not stamp first because, you know, who says you have to use the stamps? You don't have to. <laughs> you know, I, I don't always stamp first. Sometimes I will stamp and then die cut. Sometimes I'll die cut first, then stamp, or sometimes I'll just die cut. Just use the dies. Just for a natural, natural look. This should be different. And I definitely need to add more tape there. That is not sticking. that to stick doesn't want to stick okay okay stick all right let's put this card together shall we i'm kind of long enough but i know some of you like my long videos some of you don't that's okay so now i'm gonna get some double-sided tape out Good. Two sizes, maybe one size. What, oh, here's my sticky scissors, my Fiskars. All right, so now let's figure out where I'm gonna put this first. So here's my cake, here's my balloon. I need to glue this on first. And my glue is up here. And I really do love this new desk. Um, it is the desk part of it is three and a half feet long, almost, and two and a half feet wide, almost. <laughs> Just a hair shorter than two and a half feet. And then a hair shorter by, it's just almost three and a half feet. It's almost three and a half feet. I mean, real close. So I know some of you were asking. Um, putting a ribbon on or balloon ribbon, whatever you call this. Okay, I'm gonna put a piece of sticky stuff Okay, 
Now we'll do the cake. piece in the middle and it will be good. Okay. And then we'll get these on. And I think I will just glue those down. Not sure yet. I think I'll I'll put this with foam tape, but I think I need skinnier foam tape for that. And just because it needs skinnier foam tape. There we go. So in case you're wondering where this set is from with Spellbinders, I will let you know. I get too crazy carried away here. So this set is from the Glimmer Hot Foil System GLP 303 and it is the no, the Sentiment Banner. That's what it's called, the Sentiment Banner. I had to look it up. So it's called the Sentiment Banner. So that is what I used. All three of these come from that. So if you want to screenshot that, you can. And it does have a quite a bit. And these are all for hot foiling. Oops. And I put these all on a magnet. And then I put it on the back of what it came with. The, um, you know, sending a car. Ugh. Sending a card, love, congrats, all the best, full of sparkles, thanks, birthday, wishes, confetti. You can do it differently. So I put sending, birthday, sending, birthday, confetti. And this is the confetti. So that's what that is. And then I use the fishtail banner to cut them out. Or you could even use these too if you wanted to, to cut this out. But this one, I, I was having struggling trying to get that even, so I just cut it out with the rest of my, my fuzzy cutting scissors. So, but yep. So that is for hot foiling. And this is from the Simon Hurley um, coordinates with um, the birthday basics. And I do have the stamp set that goes with it. I just, like I said, I just chose not to use it tonight, today in the video. So now let's finish this, shall we? So now we have the cake, the balloon, we have sending, Let's see if we can get this to work, sending, birthday, Ooh, I wonder if I can put this on the cake, no, I don't want foam on foam. I don't like that. Sending birthday. And then we'll line this up with the edge. We'll do it like that. So let's put the cake down. Okay. And then we'll add some gems too. 
I won't forget about Jimmy's. Okay, then we'll put the balloon down. Uh, if I can get it off, that is. I don't have any more fingernails left. Okay, but now we'll just start gluing this stuff down. <sighs> We're not. I'll try and go straight. Sending. Birthday. Birthday confetti. Okay, so all I gotta do is put it on a card base and we'll add our gems. And I'll have to make a card base. So let me put that aside. Let me grab my scoreboard. See if I can grab it without looking over everything like I just did. Oh no. Where did this come from? Oh, yeah, I think I was going to work on some Valentine cards again or something. I don't know what I was going to do. It wasn't in his right spot. this down the middle at five and a half fold it over this way but we all know how to score and do all that that's why I never tell you how to do that okay I'm just gonna set this down for a minute and then we're gonna cut this at five by seven and then we'll glue it on is an A7 size card, so a 7 by 5 is considered an A7 size card. Okay, this makes me feel better if I can stick it back up there and get it out of my hair. Okay, so now we're going to glue this on. And again, I do apologize for the long-winded card because I'm just trying to have fun with you all tonight. Oh yeah, and Elizabeth goes live at five, doesn't she? And I bet you it's past five. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. I bet you I'm stepping on her feet. Oh no. I feel horrible now, I forgot. 
I just forgot. Today's Wednesday. See, I get my craft room done, and then it just dawned on me. It's Wednesday. Right? Or is it Thursday? I can't remember what day of the week it is anymore. I feel like I'm so far behind. Oh, no. Okay, let's add some gems real quick. Um, I can find my gems, that is. Um... Should I add some of these? I don't know. Those just don't appeal to me. Uh, let's add some of those real quick. I don't know what I did. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to do these off camera because my gem picker tool is on the other side of the craft room. So I will add the gems off camera. And I will post this on Instagram and also in my Facebook group. And I will uh, talk to you all later. Thank you for enjoying this uh, wonderful video. And I will post my affiliate links down below in the description box. Thank you again for all of your love and your support. That means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, so that is my card with some added gems that I will put on it. So anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Love you all. Bye.